as I said kind of before this server I intend to kind of make as a kind of a, a buildy server for me where I get to kind of build things and then kind of show them off a little bit now obviously I needed to kind of set up a home somewhere um, I think last video we saw uh, we were in the desert um, just in this pretty much exact area actually and uh, oh, there's a spider go away spider um, I don't think it's going to attack me though because it's daytime um, and so yeah we built this um, I can actually just get rid of him just in case these shields are great by the way I, I'm really enjoying playing in 1.10 so I um, kind of thought to myself I wanted to build something like a little oasis in the desert um, you can see my flag up there just so everybody knows I'm here and uh, I wanted to kind of build something a little bit kind of temple-y uh, but also kind of slightly hidden as well um, similar to like the uh, treasury in Petra in Jordan um, if you've kind of seen that it was featured I think in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade um, there's some uh, wood there so yeah I wanted to kind of do something which kind of came out of the rock um, and then whereas Petra is kind of flat against the rock and it's kind of carved out this comes out somewhat um, to there it's not finished yet I'm still kind of the details and then kind of do a bit of landscaping on the sand sort of thing but uh, um, it's coming along quite nicely I think I quite enjoy this um, kind of floor area here so you have the sandstone mixed with normal sand um, to kind of get this checker pattern as well still got uh, Mr Thunderbats here he's just having a dip um, I haven't got the leads so I can't keep him outside at the minute or else he'll run off but uh, you know I will get them eventually um, so yeah I kind of like the idea of having these like irrigation channels running through as well um, and then kind of having little areas where I'm trying to get the grass to uh, come around and, and you know as I said have this kind of little oasis in the desert um, which is quite nice now um, we're on to uh, survival mode now, it's not on Beast Fall anymore. Hence the uh, armor, the sword, the shield, and all that kind of stuff because 1.10 is quite intense. Uh, there really is like a lot of mobs about, but it's not a terrible thing because I've managed to get a fair few things enchanted um, from the levels and stuff like that. But uh, it gets a little bit uh, intense at night, I must say, and um, because usually you're playing on a server with other people, you don't often get the chance to uh, sleep, but so often you're working through the night, but I usually kind of mine through the night, and then during the day I'll go off and do little bits and bobs. Let's have a look inside. Um, so we've got the kind of kitcheny area here, where I've got my food, because obviously I need food now, speaking of which, I should probably eat pork chop. storage area here, you've got the enchanting area there, I haven't finished the uh, bookcases yet, got an anvil and we will also have like a potion brewing area here as well, um, as I say this is kind of like a, a not temporary setup but um, I wanted to just get myself established in an area where I could not have kind of things everywhere and get some sort of organisation around bed obviously. Um, that's my mine shaft. It's obviously not going to stay there because uh, that would be a bit weird. But um, just for the purposes of being able to go and get materials and stuff like that as I need them, it's just useful. And especially having it inside because, as I say, I want to go mining at night and I don't want to have the uh, issues with uh, the um, mobs and things like that. So, oh, yeah, that one's grown good. I notice a weird thing actually, I don't know if this is common with servers, because I've not really played on one before, um, but uh, things only grow when I'm near them. I thought it would be a case of like when other people are on, stuff would grow, so you could have um, like your plants and stuff like that, or your farm, and it would grow when people aren't around, but I think it's only like if people are in an area because my farm I've got going is kind of growing exceptionally slowly. Now I have actually got auto jump on, so I should stop just kind of hammering away. I might turn it off though, because it does seem pretty dangerous. So get a better view here um, of the area. So yeah, 
the idea is to kind of extend it outwards and have this kind of thing and I've got a few other ideas as well for uh, some builds that I'm going to do um, we might have like a little kind of dock area here because this river is quite nice uh, the way it kind of just meanders through the uh, desert there and as I say it's kind of the idea will be as well I need to go to the nether get some netherrack and then we'll have like a fire in there um, as well uh, and uh, it, that's quite nicely lit up at night actually you can't see there's kind of hidden torches around in it as well because I'm not a massive fan of having torches everywhere even though I do currently because you know mobs but um, yeah I kind of prefer to have them discreetly hidden away um, but that looks quite nice at night and I'm going to kind of maybe extend that round a little bit as well and then do a little bit of landscaping with the sand to kind of give it this slightly buried uh, look as well which I think would be quite nice um, and then you've got the kind of the irrigation coming down into the river there as well and I might do that kind of off to different areas and I've got a couple of um, things I'm kind of thinking of doing now I'm feeling fairly established there and I'm kind of waiting for the grass to grow as it were so um, one of the things I was thinking of doing was a kind of a um, hanging gardens of Babylon style uh, thing as I say I want to kind of give this feeling of a in the desert um, you know just you can kind of be traveling across the desert and then all of a sudden you come across this quite lush green area um, but I'll have to go out on some little expedition trips um, and have a look around and I'll probably have to get a boat as well and uh, have a wander to pick up the kind of different plants and stuff because all I seem to have around here is savanna and desert so uh, I need to go and try and find a wildflower biome or something like that of flowers from there so I'll probably do that I might even do that on camera because it's quite nice to do a bit of exploring this is my little farm I've got a sheep farm because the wool was pretty useful I'm planning on doing like um, using kind of the wool for banners and things like that over there um, and then that's my farm now I've spent quite a long time in this game this farm hasn't grown hardly at all so um, it's a bit uh, as I say, I think it's because I'm not near it, uh, and it's, so it's not growing, but, you know, I'm fine for food, so it's not the end of the world, really, uh, um, that way is just sea, so I might go out in a boat and, uh, do a little bit of exploring there, I've got the coordinates for home, so I can get back fairly easily, and I'm pretty, uh, pretty solid, I've got some, uh, half-decent armour, I've got a pretty good sword, um, and uh, good pickaxe and stuff like that. I must admit, this is my first time using the uh, enchanting since it's been kind of revamped, and it is a lot easier, that is for sure. Um, you know, knowing what you're putting on something, and uh, the fact that it doesn't use up all your levels in one go, kind of does make things a lot nicer, I must admit, if a little bit easier. Um, but it means you don't really have to kind of worry about, uh, you know, your one diamond pickaxe, like trying to enchant it with the best thing. You know, you can kind of be like, okay, well, I can keep this diamond pickaxe for a bit, enchant it with something decent, but then, you know, I can get some iron pickaxes and enchant them. And you, know, you can, I was at like level 20, 25, I think, and I managed to pretty much enchant all my armor, swords, pickaxes with yeah, pretty standard enchants which is nice let's go back up here in here so yeah I'm kind of planning on kind of making these into kind of uh, flower kind of garden things um, here and then um, probably extend out let's maybe get rid of this and uh, kind of just set up some kind of little trading area or something like that because um, I'm imagining this place to be is kind of like a, kind of like a desert like um, kind of like a little desert trading area um, and I'll probably like I was thinking of perhaps doing like some bridges across the river you know different ways to uh, kind of connect up and then have some other buildings kind of around here on these hills as well so you have this kind of like little hub and then a little maybe 
because the hardest part is always the kind of setting up. Um, once you get yourself set up with a, a renewable food supply, uh, you've got some good gear and stuff like that, then, you know, the game. But look at these jokers up here trying to, uh, trying to gatecrash the party. Yeah, buzz off, you suckers. Um, but yeah, that's an issue because uh, obviously I've got these fences up and they just spawn up there and then drop down. So, you know, some work to be done, shall we say, on the security and uh, stuff like that. But, um, oh God, I hate these little guys. Hopefully he's going to afford what he's doing. No, he's just stopped there. Um, but yeah, some work to be done. But uh, I think in replacing this with an acacia tree, because I think the acacia would look a little bit better in uh, this area. Um, but uh, we'll see anyway. Don't want those creepers to uh, get me, so I'm going to go back inside. Uh, but yeah, just a kind of quick video, just to uh, kind of update you guys on what I've been doing, where I've been going. And uh, probably next time, um, we'll go out on a little uh, like jaunt in a boat, and go across the sea, and uh, see what we can find. Because I'm quite excited to see some of the new biomes because I've actually honestly never seen like the ice biome and uh, uh, we've got new things like polar bears and stuff like that as well so I'd love to see them if we can but uh, might require a little bit of a, a trek so um, I'll probably do that next time I see you guys so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time